delay there. Uh, hello, welcome to uh, WeWin's presentation today. My name is Ethan Yang. And to start off, this is actually my first time at OCP, so I'm very excited. It's almost like a kid in a candy store, you know, seeing all these machines, the new machines and the latest technologies. And let's, with a show of hands, how many people here today is your first time at OCP? Let's see. Oh, wow, we got a lot of people. Oh, thank you. I don't feel so alone. Not uh, too much like a kid anymore. But the key is um, this year's story for WeWin is, um, well, we can think of uh, the revolutions in history that we experienced. So we've seen the PC revolution, the internet revolution, and the mobile revolution. And I really believe that we are all privileged at this time to be in the same location in the midst of the data revolution. So if you go out into a point in space and look back on Earth, you could probably sense something stirring underneath the surface. And what I believe that is, is this data explosion. And with that, uh, this data is a, like an ecosystem, like, like a forest. And what WeWin has been working on this past year is nurturing the growth of a tree of this ecosystem. So starting off, we would have um, the leaves, or like the new products that WeWin is uh, very excited to bring to you this year. So what we have is an accelerated uh, compute uh, and a lightning fast, uh, we bring light, the OCP lightning and the benefits to the 19 inch world. As well as we'll have uh, Intel RSD on OCP. And then we also introduced uh, the, kind of the new hot thing right now, which is the 48 volt direct to point of load voltage regulators for the CPU and memory. And finally, we'll go down to kind of the roots of this tree and show a successful case study that we had with a previous customer in this past year and how we accelerated OCP migration for them. So our first product is uh, Dr. No. So this is a high performance compute accelerator utilizing the 19 inch 3U16 bay and supports up to 16 GP GPUs. So we can see its application in kind of well, what's the trend going on right now, which is AI, machine, and deep learning. And we designed it with a, a tool list, so it's very easy to maintain uh, with your GPU cards, fan modules, and PSUs. So uh, be sure to check it out tomorrow. We have a specific server workshop with all the technical details uh, at 10 AM. Now the next product is um, this 1U24 U.2 uh, NVMe SSDs. And what this specifically does is it brings the benefits of OCP Lightning and introduces it to the 19-inch world. And it has a capability of 26 gigabytes per second of throughput and up to 5.692 million IOPS. And once again, easy toolless design and has two PCI 3.0 by 16 connections directly to your servers. And we will have a workshop tomorrow also at 1 p.m. So please go there if you're very interested. We, we highly welcome you. And finally, we bring a software solution this year as well. And that would be Intel uh, Rackskill Design on OCP, utilizing the latest software code base. And what this does is it advances software data center modularization. Uh, specifically, we know where, where if you're in the know of RSD, uh, you know there's the compute pool, the NVMe pool, the storage bricks, and the SDN fabric. And uh, a key thing is it utilizes the first NVMe SSD JBOF uh, in the industry. So we, you can see that as a live demo in action. So essentially, it transforms the leading edge WeWin hardware into logical resource pools. And this is a very exciting uh, direction that we shall see uh, in, the, in the future years as well. Now, fourthly, WeWin has a 48 volt solution. Um, it's also available as a live demo, and it's based on the OCS full width blade specification, uh, utilizing the Vicor 48 volt direct to point of load voltage regulators to your CPU and memory. So, and a key th thing is uh, it, it supports integrated PSUs, but of course we know to fully leverage the power efficiency, we would uh, collect, it also supports connection to the blind mate bus bars. So we're, we have a live demo at Boost B3, as well as a specific uh, server workshop tomorrow at 10.30 AM. So please feel free to drop on by if you want to learn any more details. And now getting to the root of this tree, 
uh, we will now discuss this past successful case study of OCP migration, and, and uh, uh, a special guest uh, presenter will be joining me called Hisatama Tanaka. So basically, essentially what this does is um, we allow our customers to strengthen their cost competitiveness by leveraging uh, large-scale data centers and how they are able to open the hardware and then leverage that open hardware knowledge. And we further improve their base technological capabilities. So from the early stage, uh, the, from, uh, we can examine their product design and their operational methods required by the customer's company and be able to select the best solution for their cost uh, and technical viewpoint. With that said, I'd like to hand it off to my guest presenter, Hito Tama. Hey, um, can you hear me? Yeah. OK, uh, my name is Hisatomo Tanaka. I'm from a company called Itochu Technical Solutions America which is a, a solution provider, open computer solution provider. Uh, and I, what I'm going to talk about is not a product, but really customer, how end user sold open compute, why they adapt open compute. And you must have heard, I mean, we're at a keynote of YJ America Yahoo Japan story, three engineer story, that was excellent, right? That was something that we've actually with, did with YJ America. And this story is based on that journey and you might be able to capture how you know, they got a benefit out of it and what they saw maybe the potential challenges from there on and maybe potential adapters that may think about to adapt open compute need to really think about. So the first thought about the choice of the right technology, how uh, you know, the end user viewed was you know, instead of coming up with the right idea on their own engineering resource, why don't we just take proven approach by hyperscale? The end user was really hyperscale web company, so that I think the similarity was there. So that I think one of the motivation that they thought was why don't we just take what you know other people like you know Facebook has done into their infrastructure? So why is you know this is a good approach? The first of all, simple. Secondly, ecosystem is very mature. Thirdly, innovation here. So the, I will touch on a little bit on each section here. So one thing, as you can see, the open compute design is everything is front access so that your operation, the maintenance is very simple. So you don't have any human error there. So you might have seen a video of YJ America did some maintenance work. Didn't have any error there, right? So that allows them to operate things at scale. Secondly, ecosystem is very mature. Instead of having sort of you know, discussion with OEM, black box, you know, the end user wanted to have more visibility, transparency around pricing. They wanted to be more competitive so that they went down to the each component level to discuss the pricing. And we built a supply chain together with YJ America to enable uh, this would happen with a quality assured manner. So that's why they got more saving there. Thirdly, in terms of operation, uh, if you have to have a box level, uh, you know, servers sitting in a data center, you have to have deal, you know, two kinds of boxes sitting in a data center for spares. So that brings your, you know, different policy in terms of troubleshooting, serviceability, uh, you know, difficult situation basically. So, and they, they did not have any choice in the parts that if, even though they prefer some parts, you know, maybe black boxes, you know, black box vendor didn't allow them to have that type of choice and stuff. So what they open compute allowed them was instead of having two different boxes, they can have the single spec and SKU, and they can standardize the parts level so that having that sort of standardized SKU in a data center from a deal sourcing uh, manner in terms of manufacturer wise. That brought them in a common serviceability, ease of ops, and they can have consolidated policy uh, to deal with manufacturers, and that brought a transparency. And lastly, they now have the standardized common parts in their data center as a stock for the spare. So that saved a lot of things in uh, operation. So that was, you know, they were very happy with it. So now I'm going to talk about. Uh, the good thing about open compute is because it's proven at hyperscale, at, at the same time, but they're, they are very innovative. As you see the new announcements here, we've got a lot of things, exciting stuff. 
but it's already also it is also proven at the scale. So that's why I think a new company who like the adaptive open compute can be confident to use a new innovative stuff, but it's proven manner. But there are things things that you need to keep in mind. First of all, your software. Uh, I think the better to have your scale out manner, not monolithic scale up manner. It is a little bit difficult to adapt open compute from the software perspective wise. So you need to work with you know, software uh, people who are, are capable of having a scale out stuff. The secondly, if you need to have your own data center, better because you have more flexibility. But as you might have seen in YJ America's presentation, they make they built their own rail bracket that you can they can actually use open compute server inside a 19 rack, which we are going to work with the open compute community to uh, make it more available to um, you know uh, people like you. And the lastly, the volume, of course, bigger volume would be benefit. Uh, but I think uh, YG America has talked about that they would like to actually buy things together with other clients by standardizing the SKU with other people that create sort of incremental volume to get more you know, saving. So there are a few challenges to adapt open compute, but definitely there's a benefit that I talked about earlier, and I think that's a worthwhile to challenge. And from here, I will pass back to uh, Ethan uh, for the closing. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And um, just uh, almost to wrap it up, just uh, we and we went is committed with its partners. So if you go to our website at uh, www.wewin.com, you'll be able, uh, be able to see our full partner list. And for example, uh, Circle B, our European partner, they are also here today. So please feel free to uh, also attend our booth in B3 in here. So just to conclude, uh, WeWin and our partners are committed uh, to help uh, nurture this ecosystem and accelerate o OCP technologies and migration and help drive this full forest of data explosion into the future. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation and I hope you have a great time at the rest of this event. Thank you.